Ravens win, beat the Titans, defeat the Demons here. 20 to 13 at Tennessee. Underdog mentality here. Underdog mentality. And uh, what you got to say about uh, now, Lamar haters? What do you have to say now? That's right. Keep your mouth shut. Lamar Jackson just sat your ass down. Your narratives, all your haters' narratives just took a big hit. Honestly, so don't you ever shit talk him, uh, shit talk him ever again for the rest of your lives. Be because your narrative of Lamar can't win big games, Lamar can't win playoff games, took a very big hit. It took a very big hit. So, bro, shut up, take a seat, and if you're a Titans fan, kiss your sister because Ravens move on. Honestly, it's 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 honestly one of the best games from the Ravens this year. Beautiful play from everyone, especially Lamar. So, first off, let's go through Lamar's stat line today. He completed 17 out of his 24 pass attempts, passed for a, a 179 yards, got one pick, unfortunately, and then throw a touchdown. Also unfortunate, but it's whatever. We got the the win on the ground, by the way. He rushed 16 times for 136 yards, 8.5 yards per carry, and a 48-yard 48, a 48 TD run. Just to add up to that, you know, insane stat line. Marquise Brown, who who played last lights out. He played lights out, honestly. And seven receptions, 109 yards. He didn't get a touchdown, but it's whatever. Mark Andrews. He had a bit less of receptions. He got four for 41. On the ground, J.K. Dobbins had nine carries for 43 yards and a TD. Gus Edwards had 48 carries for 38 yards. You know, so it's like a good day for running backs, I guess. It's like you had Lamar who rushed for, for 136. Dobbins had nine carries for 43 you could say it wasn't it wasn't a bad day 200 yards it's it's not bad production so I, i'm going to say like the first the first quarter the first half ex especially the first quarter really had me stressed out really really had me mad honestly like it was a tale of two quarters like a horrible first quarter but like a complete 180 in the second where the Ravens look like a complete different team. And honestly, next game, the offensive line has to do a better job. The Titans had 19 sacks this entire season. And we've allowed four by the half. Five by the end of the game. So, I mean, they played better. They played better in the second half. But five sacks, you'd always, always want to have like two at most. And also in the first half, you had Lamar who just struggled, but he, he had good moments at the same time, especially that 48 touchdown run. That was insane, honestly. So it was kind of a mixed bag. But as a whole, this game, it was like a dom it was a dominant performance, honestly, for both Lamar and the defense. You literally just you dethroned King Henry, honestly. And and won and, and and that's how you win against the Titans. Defensively, we held Henry to forty yards total, and his longest run was eight, and he had two point two yards per carry. So, if you look at it, we we would have beat the Titans week eleven, if you really look at it, because last time we didn't have Calais or Brendan Williams. Now we had all the guys back. You had all the guys back except for Ronnie Stanley and Nick Boyle, Boyle, obviously, of course. But it's been the healthiest we've been pretty much all year, except for week one. We, we had all our guys, but we've been decimated with injuries all year long, especially that, uh, you, you know, uh, that COVID outbreak. So, yeah. And 
I mean, this defense was able to get it done against King Henry. You, you just dethroned him and you won. Meanwhile, Lamar playing good football under pressure when they were down 10, 10 to nothing it just shows how much he grew as a Raven. Because in other situations, as you, as you look at his, at his other two playoff games, he just, like, everything would go to shit. And honestly, like, Greg Roman, the play calling in Greg Roman really pissed me off. But it didn't, it didn't piss me off enough. It was, pr it was pretty inconsistent, this game. But honestly, he didn't completely collapse his game plan when we were down 10 to nothing. He... he I mean, he made some terrible play calls, of course, but it, it wasn't terrible enough to actually just have us collapse and lose terribly. So it's 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 good for him, but I want the play calling to be way more consistent than that next week because it was it, it was really bipolar. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about the play calling. Um, Hollywood Brown. Hollywood Brown, shout out to him. He's always been a beast in playoff games. He's, I mean, it's his second playoff game. But in his first playoff game last year, he actually played very good. He had his best career game, I'm pretty sure. And we really want to see it from him in a, on a regular basis. This is one what we want to see from Hollywood Brown on a regular basis. Like, next week, it's going to be very important. We're either playing the Bills or Chiefs. So he's going to have to just... He's, he's got to have to continue. Continue doing that. And it's like, man. Let's bring this energy to the next game and see what happens. Feels good to see the Ravens, you know, have their revenge against the Titans. And again, dancing on the logo. I loved it. I loved it. And again, you have people being mad... You have people being mad because of it. It's like, bro, like, are, are you hypocritical? Like, you're really going to look... At, and and after that, like, uh, Harbaugh com complained in week 11, and they called that hypocritical? They called him hypocritical instead. But it's it literally makes the people who get mad at that look hypocritical because it's it's called revenge. It is called revenge. And we just got revenge. They deserved it. It's not karma. It's not juju thing. We did not do TikTok on their thing. We literally just dan danced, stomped on their logo like they did to us in week 11. So, again, it was a good thing we remembered that. And, we, and this, and the fact that they used this disrespect as motivation for today, sweet. Very good. So, honestly, just... Lamar haters are clowns now. Look a lot like clowns. So now just shut up. Please. Shut your face. And, and again, I literally... Like, on my news account on Insta... Uh, follow, by the way. On screen right now. I was in a group chat. It, it was about... It was with, like, every NFL fan, pretty much. No, it was a few fans, but like it was mostly Browns fans, AFC North fans. Like, you know, it was a bunch of Ravens pages, Browns pages, Steelers pages. You had Browns fans who really talked trash about Lamar after his interception when we were leading 10 to nothing. And then when we started coming back, shit went silent. It, nobody was typing. And they, and literally uh, at the end of the game, they all left. <laughs> they literally all left. Oh my god. Yo, they're embarrassed. They're really embarrassed. And, and I really don't want to see anybody, anybody talk shit about him. Ever. 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 Every narrative that has been put on Lamar Jackson in his entire career has been, has, took, has taken a big hit this year. Has taken a big hit throughout Lamar's career. Like, all they said was, oh, he's not sustainable, but he, he missed two games in his, in his entire career, and one of them was because the Ravens were resting their starters, and the other one was because he was sick. So, he, he destroyed that narrative. Oh, they can't, he can't win big games. He can't win big games. 
he, he destroyed the narrative a long time ago, even though it was still going on this year. He has destroyed it completely with the win today. And, and like, every time you would be like, oh, he can win big games, and then you listed all the big games he won, you would, you would have these guys be like, oh, the biggest games. Where are the biggest games? The playoffs. Oh, he can't win playoff games. That narrative was on, you know, for, for about a year now. He com- that narrative took a hit, too. That narrative also took a hit. So, I really don't see what other thing haters have left to say. Because every narrative has been proven wrong. Pretty much. So, yeah. Ne- next week. It was a great game this week. Next week, we're going to get ready for either the Chiefs or the Bills. And trust me, we aren't the team the Chiefs or Bills want to see next round. With that momentum, we look dangerous. Dangerous as hell. So yeah, so yeah, guys. I'm going to have a preview on whoever we play next. Uh, n- next week. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here. These are my thoughts on the game. And yeah, guys. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye.